Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here today. Today we're gonna to find out what next spiritual event is gonna take place for you. So I did a reading recently about a spiritual upgrade or something, I can't remember, but this one's gonna be a spiritual event that's gonna take place, okay? So pile one, you're gonna choose this deck. The, um, I, still, I don't honestly know what crystal that is, but you're gonna be choosing this one, pile one. Pile two is the Kawhi deck with the blue calcite. And pile three is the, I don't know what this deck is, with the selenite here. Pile three. So uh, if you guys want a personal with me, all the information's in the description. If you want to check out Patreon, if you can't afford a personal, all the information's down below for other pick of cards. I read for business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, star seeds, light bringers, the real ones, the real light bringers. Okay. Let's start with pile one. What next spiritual event is gonna take place for you? I'm immediately drawn to this looking like a thyroid. And I heard before I started filming, I heard throat chakra activation, throat chakra. And I was also hearing somebody in this group was going to be activating their, uh, their sacred partner, I heard. Their sacred partner and their throat chakra. When you speak, even if you're in separation, you're activating this person's throat chakra as well at the same time. If you guys ever had thyroid issues or something like that, um, this could be your message for sure because it's located, it's, it's, it's the gland located in the throat. And um, it like, it, it monitors and regulates hormones and shit like that, I don't know. It's really fancy. Mine went out for a really long time in the dark night of the soul, so. Um, so now my gift is that it's the strongest chakra I have. Hell yeah. Bad bitch energy pile one. What's next spiritual event? So I'm hearing your, the spiritual event that's taking place is you're like activating the Kundalini in your twin flame. Mm hmm yeah, you're activating them. Some of you might not even know who your twin flame is yet and I'm hearing doesn't matter, you're still fucking activating them. Does not matter. Doesn't matter if you've ever met them a day in your life. You're still activating that person. 2.22 on the clock just now. Spiritual event for pile one, please, Holy Spirit. King of Swords, you can't make it up. Look at the blue, right? That's the throat chakra. Ooh, honey. Your throat chakra is about to lay them, slay them, and cause mayhem. Cause mayhem. Lay them, slay them, cause them mayhem. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> lay them, slay them, cause and mayhem. Oh, shit. Remind me not to get on your bad side, pile one. Holy shit balls, bruh. Who are you, the magician? Who are you? People are saying you're sneaky as fuck right now. That's what I heard. You're sneaky as fuck. Why? Why are they saying that? I've never met a more truthful truth teller than pile one. That's what I'm hearing. Like, some people are like, wait, what are you talking about? Your twin flame, I think, is hearing gossip about you, pile one. And... And it's like, wait, wait, what are you talking? What are you talking about? What? The sun. Like, your twin's getting a lot of activation right now. Could be a Leo or a Gemini or Aquarius. Wait, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Your twin flame is asking their friends and family, like, what are you talking about? Wait, what? What do you mean they're sneaky? Yeah. Okay, so the throat chakra that's being activated by your twin flame, it's gonna be... Uh, I heard Orion, Orion. Maybe the name Ryan or O'Brien, something like that. Hmm. The throat chakra is being activated for this person and they're asking all their friends and family. Like, I genuinely, no, 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 they're genuinely curious. They're like, what do you mean sneaky though? What do you mean my twin flame sneaky? I need you to tell me. Mm, guys, listen, but then but it's a genuine thing. Like they're truly genuinely curious. Like, are you sneaky? But then it's like they get some sort of truth and they find out like you're not like that at all or something. I don't know. A lot of clarity is coming in. A spiritual event that's gonna take place is um, your true divine match asking questions about you with people that don't like you. They don't like you. Dude, they've never liked you. 
<laughs> your twin's friends and family have hated your guts since the beginning of time. Okay? Tale as old as time. That's what I'm hearing. Past life. Past life. They fucking hated you in past lives, too. But it's like they're asking questions, though. Which is, yeah, because their throat chakra is active. They're finally... It's not even like standing up for themselves. It's more like they're genuinely curious, like sneaky. What do you mean? Like how? What are these people gonna say? The world, page of wands. The king of swords to the page of wands is like, these people are convincing your twin flame that you're really an amateur. You're like really not that good. You're not that good. And you're lying to the world. You're deceiving. Yeah, that's what I mean. You're a slithering snake. What is it? I heard this in a message the other day, yesterday, I think it was. You're a slithering lying snake. I heard the name Vanessa. But you've activated your heart chakra. Did you guys know that your heart chakra while open and active has its own electromagnetic frequency so that it protects you. Did you know that? It's its own frequency. It emits its own frequency. So nobody can do shit to you. Plus the green here, I'm getting she's surrounded by her own heart chakra. Look, that's what, excuse me. That's what your twin is asking these people now. Like, okay, like, like explain it to me. Cause I really want to know. It's like they genuinely are curious if you are sneaky, not that they believe it really, but not that they believe it so much. Four of Wands. They don't believe it, I don't think. But they, they really, I think, want to know why these people think that, though. The Tower. The next spiritual event is you and your twin both going through the same type of thing. You're going to be asking people what are their true intentions, their deepest true desire for you and the partnership. Like, do you really want us together? And, but, but, but see, you have to go into the dark for that, guys. You have to go right into the belly of the beast for that shit. Like, you have to go right into the heart of the matter, which a lot of these people are their friends. So they have to ask their friends point blank, like, point blank, like, what do you mean? Look, your twin isn't sneaky. Your, your twin's not sneaky. There are genuine, this is a genuine concern that they want addressed. It's not like they're trying to play dumb. That's what I'm getting. They're not playing dumb. They really want to know, are you sneaky? Because something about, well, you and your twin are the same soul, right? So here's the thing. If they can find out from these group of friends, if they're sneaky, like, it's, it's like they're discovering more about who you are by discovering about who they are. But it's like, they're gonna find out their friends really never supported you. Yeah, five, they're gonna find out they never got support. They don't have support, which is what's gonna be highlighting for them that they need to go within and learn who they are. So the next event for pile one is you and your twin flame, both discovering who you are by seeing who you're not the moon bitch you can't make it up it's something about like whatever is hidden coming to the light because you're activating your throat chakra and you're you're demanding people speak the truth some of you might have even done a truth serum or truth spell or something like that i don't know or you just prayed and you're like give me the truth whatever it is your throat chakra now in being so active both of you are are demanding the truth and it's not the type of truth that's like it's not mean it's like, I genuinely want to know your opinion. Because your heart chakra is active and you're protected, it doesn't matter if people don't like you. So, so both of you are in the same energy right now, which is really great. I think that this is very close to union, whoever I'm reading for, pile one, twin flames, okay? Very close to union. And you both know it. You, both, you can feel it. So you're, you know you're protected. You know that nothing will even hurt your feelings anymore. So it's, it's not like... You're running from the truth anymore. You're not running from the truth. You genuinely want to know like where your enemies are and where your friends are. Who's frenemies? Who's not? So the next spiritual event for pile one 
might actually be Twin Flame Union. Well, before that, though, before that, the, the spiritual event taking place is that uh, your throat chakra is opening and you first have to see all the snakes in the grass. People that, when you're in union, they won't really like you two together very much. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, <laughs> technically speaking, they don't even like you two apart <laughs> together. Like, they don't even like that you're like, like a thing, you know? They don't like that you're together in the 5D. They, they, they don't. They don't like you, okay? And so, wow, six of pentacles in reverse, so your twin is gonna be learning not to give to these people anymore. And so are you. So that's the, that's the spiritual event taking place. So, so you guys are, you're so protected in the heart space. Um, I think it might actually shock your partner, your, per your person. I think it might shock them as to how much they don't really actually take on the pain anymore. Like. Finding out your best friend hated you for years, that could really do a number on someone's psyche. You know, that could really fuck a person up. But with you and them, the healing, 11-11, I'm telling you, together, it doesn't hurt them anymore. I don't know if it's just instant healing and you like take the pain and transmute it or something, but it's almost like your love for them is literally protecting them and it doesn't hurt. It's gonna shock your person very soon might shock you too that this is this is, there's no pain here anymore that's why that's why they're vocalizing this and asking out loud like what do you really think of me though so tell me for real like what do you think i could work on what who do you think i am see it reminds me of jesus in the bible when someone went up to jesus and was like they say you're this or they say you're that or something and he was like that's cool well, who do you say i am i can't remember what the guy said but i think he said the son of god or something i can't remember but, but the point is, like, these people are judging your character, both of you. And your twin feels completely unstoppable. Like, they feel like nothing can penetrate this bubble, this auric shield of love that you guys have. Nothing, nothing can. They feel, they feel invincible, honestly. This King of Swords, they just want truth. They just want truth now from all third parties, anybody. They just want truth, that's it. Everything in the dark is coming to the light because of an op open throat chakra now, right? A healed heart chakra that's already been healed, but now the throat chakra is about to, um, well, announce to the world that their heart chakra is healed. You understand? You guys kind of hit it before? No, no, there's no more hiding this. Pile one, there's no more hiding it. They, they will know. Oh shit. They will know. That's what I heard. Fierce and ferocious. They will know. They will know now. Let's get a let's get a card for you before I go. They will know. I keep hearing it. Oh, they will know. Cheetah. Look at and the buffalo. It's something about these people look really, really big and bad, like the buffalo, right? And a cheetah wouldn't I mean, I don't know. A cheetah shouldn't really normally be able to take down a buffalo. I mean, I know that yes, technically it's a predator, but the buffalo is fucking huge, right? So there's something about these people that they seem immovable, right? I don't know. Man. You know what I also just got? Oh God, oh God. Okay, so pile one. Another thing I just got is if people are calling you the devil, which honey, it happens. Like if you're not getting called the devil, a Satan worshiper, a Jezebel spirit, whatever. Like if you're not getting called literal Satan 15 times a week, you're not living. You're not living. You're certainly not living it as a spiritualist unless you get called the devil. Look, there's the horns right there. And I'm hearing this is your twin asking, you keep saying they're the devil, prove it, prove it, prove it. You keep saying they're evil. You keep saying my twin flame's evil, prove it. Because honestly, your twin is starting to see third parties as evil. So this is them, very quick and nimble, very quick and nimble being like, okay, prove it, because I want to know. What I'm getting is these people are constantly talking about how evil you are though. Like, cause I, I'm getting this is on the forehead. It's like, it's like all these people see about you is that you are just like not good for them. Not good, not good, not good, not good, right? And now all of a sudden, 
the cheetah's like, er, wait a minute. Wait, what'd you say? Wait, why though? They used to believe it and they were just going along with the flow, right? And now all of a sudden they're like, whoa, 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 back it up. Wait, why? Like evil how? They want literal proof. What are these buffaloes gonna say? Two cups. I heard they have no leg to stand on. They have no leg to stand on. They're gonna be proven wrong. That's the next spiritual event coming in, guys. Page of Swords. It's this cheetah. The cheetah is now questioning things, asking. Prove it. Prove it. Prove they're evil. Yeah, prove they're evil and I'll, I'll agree with you. Your twin is so fucking laser focused on you. It's insane, guys. Guys, Knight of Swords, I'm telling you. I, this is the cheetah. I'm here to fucking prove it. Prove it? Tell me, show me proof right now that they're evil, that they're the devil. And I'll use discernment. I'll agree with you if it's convincing. If not, you can fuck yourself. Like, that's what I'm getting here. This, this twin is not playing games about you anymore. Look, the Empress, bitch, no. They are not playing games about you anymore. Third party options, no. They gotta go. Out, done. That is an next spiritual event happening. Um, a throat chakra awakening for both you and your twin flame. And it could get loud, guys. I'm hearing it could get rowdy. It could get rowdy. If you wanna go pick a different pile, I'm hearing there's another blessing coming in to help combat the rowdiness. I don't know which one it's gonna be, but if you wanna go check it out, do so. But I'm hearing like um, something about spirit guides coming in to help you um, course correct and like really uh, look at the rowdiness as just like, it's just inflammation. It's almost like, um, It'll go away. <laughs> It'll go away. It's like it's like it's like when you when you bust your knee or you hit your knee and it's like it's like swelling. It'll go away. But right now you guys are getting really rowdy. I, I love twin flames. I just want one more card. I just love you guys. I love you guys. I'm so proud of this divine union. I'm so proud of you. Pile one. And they are too. They're like, wow, look what you, look at this. Look how strong you are. The strength card here, bitch. Yes, with the Empress. Look, your counterpart is telling me right now, like, I can't even believe who you are. Like, I can't even believe you did this all on your own in no contact. I heard the name Kira. It could be um, a Libra, a Leo, or you could, you could have those. Play. They, they're like, I can't, it's like, I'm so fucking proud of you. You just did something, you, I'm hearing lack mentality, like you're done with lack mentality, so you broke karmic curses, like you broke, dude, I don't know what you did, but, oh. So karmically speaking, you ended so much karma in this contract that now your twin is also forced to remove karmics from their life because there's no karmic contract left. There's nothing abiding, they don't have to abide by shit. These buffaloes don't get to determine who you are. You are the empress. At one time, these buffaloes could convince them. Mm -hmm. But because you broke some sort of karmic something or other, they can't convince them anymore. So now they're allowed to bite back is what I heard. They're allowed to fight back and bite back. Oh shit. Ooh, the magician. Ooh, honey. Ooh, honey. Yes, 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 yes. No, I love it. I love it. What a great reading. Um, if you guys want a personal, all the information's in the description. I love you so much. Love you, love you so much. All right, your person is just so in love with you. Ace of Wands. Oh my God, and they're coming right towards you guys. I don't know what you did. Honey, you cleared energy that was around you and it was making your twin think you were somebody else. Okay? Like, I don't know what you did, but you, you removed so much bullshit around you Orically speaking, God, it's like there were layers. I'm hearing your person say layers and layers of gunk. It wasn't even you. I couldn't even see who you were. So when they were, when the karmics were saying like, oh yeah, well she's a devil or she's like, she's not good for you. Like she'll ruin your life or something like that. Your person was forced to believe it because that's all they could see. Because it was other people's gunk around you. And like, it was, it was like kind of reflecting back and your twin was seeing that. All these karmics around you, like, oh my god. I don't know, you guys just must have done the biggest return to sender spell. Or you just did, like, 
the craziest salt bath you've ever done in your life or something. I don't fucking know. Whatever you did, it's got your person seeing you completely different. Completely different. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. Come, you went from lack to now like being the embodiment of the everything. Like it, it, the, the complete empress. The whole fucking package, guys. The Wheel of Fortune. Look, a lot of you are even changing. Look, I don't want to get too into it. I was like, Spirit, let's keep these short today. You are changing everything, okay? And now with a, with a uh, healed throat chakra, you are now speaking life into your 3D reality, which is quickly going to change your fate and your money too, a lot of you. Incredible, in freaking incredible. I am so proud of you. And your guides are like, I heard we raised her right. We raised her right, look what we did. We're so proud. And I'm hearing them like, like cry and like dab their cheek. Like, oh, we're so proud. We're so fucking proud. Ace of Wands. You guys, this is Twin Flame Union. Your next spiritual event is making people prove that you're evil. And when they can't, you're going to be knowing you are divine. And you're, everyone will know. You're twin. Everyone will know you're divine. You know you're divine. You know who you work for. That's it. That's it. Science seal delivered. I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. Great reading. Have a good one. Bye, guys. reading <sighs> pile two holy spirit please clear my energy i wish you to tune in pile two please pile two what do we have pile two now please blue calcite hmm hi guys welcome to your reading those who chose the blue calcite I'm hearing you could get a new spiritual crystal. That's super cool. Um, a crystal that really works for you. Um, I'm getting throat chakra with you guys as well. Super cool with the blue calcite. Um, but you might be getting some sort of crystal that like helps octi activate, <laughs> activate your, um, yeah, your, your throat chakra as well. Let's clear space here. You're gonna be shown something about your strength, about your power, and it could be in a dream. Because what I'm getting is, you're gonna say no to somebody in a dream. You're gonna say no to something. I'm actually getting, it's otherworldly. It's otherworldly. Something about your consciousness is elevating so much that you can actually see in a dream who's affecting you and who's, who's been affecting you. Um, energetically speaking, five of wands, yeah? Who's been like conflict, like, like causing conflict in your life? It's gonna be like an ex, maybe, or, or you see. I, I know it is otherworldly. I'm getting that. A spiritual event. You're gonna see how powerful you really are. Yeah, I'm hearing like these demons ain't shit. That's what I just heard. These demons ain't shit. Come at me though. <laughs> Next spiritual event for pile two, please, please, right? <laughs> These teens ain't fucking shit. <laughs> That's so great. Oh, I love you. They're causing conflict though in your life, and you're like, you're like, I'm fucking done, bruh. I'm fucking done. Look, Queen of Wands here. See, because I think what you're gonna do is you're seeing that like a project or something you're trying to do is not taking off, and the reason is because they're they're harvesting your sexual energy. I'm hearing for somebody. And it sounds like my neighbor just dropped a crystal. A crystal. You might even be using crystals around your bed. Use crystals, protective stones around your bed while you're sleeping because this is happening in the dream space. But, but it's like, dude, this is so crazy. This is like, you're going to witness how they harvested your energy. Five of Pentacles keeping you in lack. That's what I'm getting. King of Pentacles. See, what's ironic is you've already, I feel like Pile 2 has already impressed your subconscious mind. I feel like you've already changed how you think about money and abundance and not even just money, but I'm getting money here, pentacles, right? You already, you've already impressed the subconscious and you've changed how you view things. But now, now you're seeing that there's someone who like fucked with you, okay? Who stole your abundance from you. Ooh, that's what I heard. I heard they stole your abundance. 
This could be an otherworldly agent or team. I'm, I'm hearing it's some sort of team. It's some sort of like group of like fucking gremlins or goblins or some, some shit. And it's, it's like, it's like, you know what I just saw? I saw that it's in the face and the form of your ex or somebody who like you really, really are close to or you used to be. It's like an otherworldly agent disguised as your ex or something. Yeah, and I'm hearing, I'm hearing that like you guys don't even think about this ex like ever. Consciously during the day, you don't think about them literally ever, ever. So it's like, why are you manifesting them? Exactly, you're not. It's not them. Some of you are confused. You're like, why won't this guy leave me alone? It's not him. Oh my Lord Jesus God Almighty. Give me more on that spirit. This is some shit. This is some shit. What is this? Five of Pentacles. You can't make it up. Some of you are like, it's stuck in poverty. But like, it's not your mind. Look, look. It's not your poverty mindset though. It's not you. It's not your poverty mindset. Your mindset is actually like abundance is easy. Wealth is easy. I make money in my sleep. I'm a fucking goddess. I get what I want. Period. Like your, your self-concept your self-esteem, your the way that you view the world is on point, fucking perfect, okay? I'm really getting that. Queen of Wands, like, you know your shit about energy, all right? Queen doesn't get to be a queen without knowing the entire suit, and so you know about wands. You know about energy. It's, just, it's like, you're gonna, in a dream, soon. I am predicting, if this hasn't happened already, that you speak to an otherworldly agent. You speak to some sort of alien, some sort of ET, and basically tell them to fuck off. Basically. And it's definitely speech. It could be telepathy, you know, but either way, you're going to be, look at this, look at this, the fucking magician, babe. And the reason I'm getting that this is um, so toxic and, and devilish is because it's black magic. It's otherworldly forces affecting you. And trying to convince you it's not devilish. Trying to convince you that it's not really evil. Because I'm getting 15, the devil number here, right? 15 in tarot is the devil card. So it's almost like they're trying to convince you that, oh no, it's not that bad though. It's not that bad. Doesn't it feel good? It feels good. I remember when like, I would, I would be attacked by these, I don't, I don't know. They're invisible forces because they're invisible to a lot of us because they're at a lower frequency than us. We don't, we can't see them. We're way too high vibrational for these spiritual you know, you know, um, violators. I want to call them, I heard archons, right? archons, yeah? And I'm also hearing, um, 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 what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? Other than shit stains, what are they called? They're called, um, um, incubus, succubus, yeah. Nine of wands. You've been going uphill both ways for a really long time when you should have just been smooth sailing into your abundance and there's something blocking it. What do you think it is, honey? What do you think it is? Me thinks it's E.T. I heard devil worship. Somebody doesn't like you and they literally worship the devil or Satan or some shit like that. And these people have put some sort of curse or hex on you and it's like the forces that they've used, that they've called on, have been allowed to in impact your life. Why? The Empress in reverse. The Emperor in reverse? What? They even kept like a divine pair from finding each other. If some of you have been thinking this is your ex's, or your, your, your twin flame's ex, or your soulmate's ex, whatever, whatever the title, that, that's yes. That's a yes. They were doing something like this to block you two. And I, I'm actually kind of getting it's your ex as well. There was something not happening in spiritual union. Because of dark magic here, yeah? And the forces that they used, it, it was never your emperor. It was never your empress. It was never your divine counterpart. Okay. It might have looked like it, and you might have blamed them for a minute. I know I sure as shit did, honey. I blamed my twin for so fucking long. Oh, my God. You guys, if you've watched my channel... I used to, like, I would, there, were, there would be hordes of flies. Like, Lord of the Flies is a real thing. Hordes of flies. He's like, um, um, vermin. And, I, oh my gosh, honey. It was bad. And that train would just, you guys, you watched it. I, I'm not going to go into it because now as I look back, I'm like, 
I love that girl so much but she was in so much pain and I called myself crazy for so long um, until I started validating that wow no this is happening even if other people don't agree it's not up for them to agree it's up for me to see it this is happening to me this dark magic that took place for pile two the spiritual event that's going to take place next is you actually telling these archons these these devil gremlin goblin fuckers to just basically uh go to hell where they belong ace of swords girl you can't make it up thank you jesus Think of Jesus. I actually feel you guys might even use the name Jesus. Very powerful. I know in dreams, like if I call on the name Jesus, I'm like, bitch, bye. In Jesus' name. Oh, look, and the dog upstairs started barking. Look, see, it gets real loud when you start using Jesus. Anyway, no, here's the thing. You're gonna say it though. Ace of Swords is a speech for me, and I'm telling you, you're gonna say it. You're gonna speak very soon in a dream or some sort of astral projection, something like that, that you do not want to work with these archons anymore. And a lot of you wanted to because it was like, not wanted to consciously. I don't think you wanted to consciously. I think you just, I don't know, it got really tough to wanna, wanna fight them off. It got, it got like, it almost like became too overwhelming to keep seeing it or something. You just kinda, I don't know. I'm getting like, you just kinda said fuck it or whatever. So you're gonna say that very soon in a dream. Why? What's gonna what 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 is causing this? King of Swords. Go check out pile one that really might resonate with you. King of Swords is like, you're cutting through bullshit. You are, you are, oh my god, so done. Oh my god, so done. I feel like you're gonna see something. Something is exposed to you in a dream soon, and I think it's energy harvesting. I actually think, legit, it's somebody doing something to you, your physical body, your astral body, something, and you call it out. And it might be the first time you've ever felt empowered to call it out. What's gonna happen when they do this, please, for pile two? The hangman, it's enlightenment, gaining enlightenment. Ten of Wands, yeah? You're gaining enlightenment. Your next spiritual event is gaining enlightenment about why whatever you were trying to do was so laborious and burdensome. Why you were always climbing uphill both ways. Like you never had, you never had the easy function, ever. Yeah, but I'm getting though, it, it, it's not your mindset. It's not your belief. It's not your affirmations it's not your um your self concept it's not it's not that you've already you already fixed that that's already fixed i heard it was just the shenanigans it's just the shenanigans keeping you from your abundance so now that you get that you could be a pisces an aries heavy aries maybe a libra now that you get that this, 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 I don't know, like the balls of steel, man. You say some shit in a dream to these archons and I think it's gonna even surprise you. 33, 33 on the clock just now. It's gonna surprise you. I think also, it's gonna surprise you how quickly your abundance comes in too because three is the empress number here and I'm, I'm really getting, it's gonna surprise you how quickly things move along. All you have to do is speak it out loud. You have to say with some conviction. Say it with some gumption. Say it with some fucking fierceness. Like, like, go fuck yourself. Thank you. Nine of Wands, the star, I'm, it's just gonna shock you. You're gonna go from struggle, 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 like uphill both ways here with the Wounded Warrior, right? To just like easy breezy. I'm really getting that the star is you just, it's, it, you're gonna know who you are. It's like it's like you're gonna see, like, oh my God, they were doing this to me the whole time. They were doing this to me, correct? The whole time. I feel like any project you had just wouldn't take off. Like it was so fucking slow. I'm hearing it was molasses. Slow like molasses. And you know what I also just heard? There's sulfur in molasses, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I heard sulfur. You could even smell sulfur. Um, um, a sign that this is dark magic, a sign is that you guys are smelling bad smells lately. 
like sulfur yeah i'm smelling sulfur or something burning or something like offensive odors mm -hmm. it's these dude nasty nasty i'm actually seeing them around you these darker forces are around you and they stink they have a stench oh they're like little fucking goblin things or something i don't know man they're so boo boo bye <laughs> like see you never you're gonna fight these things off high priestess in your dreams that's what i'm gonna you're gonna fight these things off high priestess in your sleep knight of wands it, you cannot make that shit up. Seven of Cups for me is the astral plane. I see this as your subconscious, your, your wherever the fuck there is. That's what you're doing. You are booting these people. Oh, they're not people, by the way. <laughs> no. These are agents of the motherfucking devil, okay? And you are kicking them to kingdom come. Okay? Their kingdom come, which really is not that great of a kingdom. But you are literally booting them out by speaking it out loud. You could, you could call on the name Jesus shit. I don't care who you use. Just use somebody divine. You yourself in your name, in love's name, in, it, it doesn't matter. You're gonna be telling these people, they're not people though. But why do I keep saying that? I think that actually someone did do this to you. You might even, after you do this, you see like the, 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 the you see what the actual um, agents are that's, that's causing the, the problem. But then I think what you do is you start telling the person that sent it energetically or telepathically you start basically telling them where to shove it and where to go as well. Five of cups. And I really am getting, it's someone that has in your past. Three of cups that are normally spilt, right? And then there's the two of cups, you and a partner together. I think the empress and emperor. But it's someone, it's a third party that did this to you is what I'm getting. It's a third party that did this to you. Several, maybe even, I don't know. You have, two, you have two threes here on the table, so it could be two, both of your exes, okay? Um, either way, I feel like you're telling them telepathically or energetically, just basically fuck off, don't ever talk to me again. Um, don't ever do this again. You, you never have permission to do this again. Like, I am a sovereign being. How fucking dare you? Please go to hell. Thank you so much. And the Ace of Swords is you speaking out loud either way. Even if they're not in your physical 3D environment, you can still say this shit out loud. Like, for instance, my twin's ex... Uh, go to hell. Don't ever send them again. These little gremlin things. If they work in the dark, uh, they're not allowed in the light. Period. Bye. Bye. You are gaining so much mass conscious awareness, pile two, that you're going to be awakened in dreams. And when you're awakened in dreams, your higher self brings you to, it brings you to conscious awareness in the dream. You become lucid like that. Right? It's like, you're gonna start becoming more lucid. You're gonna realize, holy shit, I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming, but are you though? Are you really? Because what I'm being told is you're actually being abducted. So like, is it a dream? I don't fucking know. Wherever you're going, honey, these things are working on you and they're not supposed to be. They don't have permission anymore. They did it one time because we were under a spell. We were under some sort of delusion. Um, and so they had permission to hurt all of humanity. But now we're gaining conscious awareness and we're realizing we are the shit, we are the light, and these parasites don't deserve to be feeding off of us. So go take your jealousy, your envy, and your hatred elsewhere, exes from Texas, and stop sending these little gremlins. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune and the higher bet. Look, look, look. I, I feel like you're throwing the Bible at it, I heard. I, I don't know if you guys are like Christian or something, but you might actually use the name Jesus. But look, look, it, you could use Krishna. You could use Buddha. You could, it doesn't matter. It really is about the, the frequency of that name, okay? The frequency of your name is important as well, right? Look, Queen of Swords. I, I'm getting like you're really kicking them off the Ferris wheel. Like you're kicking them off. You're like, bye, bye, bye. You're not allowed here. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Um, any other message here for Pile Dos? The person doing it might, might speak Spanish. That's what I just got. Knight of Cups. The lovers in reverse. You thought this was a false twin flame. I'm hearing yes, it is. It's a false twin that did this to you. Knight of Cups. I heard cheeky bastard. So I don't know if they live across the pond, but I heard cheeky bastard. 
the cheeky bastard. And then we have uh, Lover's Gemini energy here. I'm really getting, yeah, this was, a, this was an X. Guys, this was an X, okay? They did this to you. They used dark forces, but how cool that you get to see what the dark forces are. Like, not only do you get to see that your ex sent it, which is sad, you know, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to see that. But how cool that you get to see truth, right? You get to see a message that comes through from your higher self, which is like, hello, hello, wake up. This is why we're drained. This is why we have zero energy in a day. This is why we don't want to get the fuck out of bed. So let's go, let's go. Okay, nine of swords. If you guys have sleepless nights and you're afraid, like like you're having sleep paralysis as well, shit like that, because you, you keep getting bombarded by these dark energies and your dreams and your sleep and shit, guys, I'm telling you, you're gonna be speaking out loud to these, these gremlin goblin looking things and it's over. Seven of swords, whatever they are, they've been lying to you for a minute and it's over. It's literally fucking over. So spiritual event happening, it's gonna be, you know, <laughs> Five of swords, seven of swords, nine of swords. I mean, I mean, I see you in your head a lot about this, but honey, you're safe. You're safe. You are more powerful than these little, what the fuck are they? They're like little gremlins, little teeny tiny ankle biters. They're nothing. They're nothing. They're nothing. You are the shit. They just smell like shit. Oh, there's something really not good about like how they smell. Like, I mean, I mean, if some of you lately have been getting like weird body odors and you're like, why do I smell funny all of a sudden? Girl, it's not you, girl or guy. It's not you. You could smell smoke as well. I'm hearing cigarette smoke, weed, something like that. Five of wands. It's not you, death. Look, 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 look. It's not you. It's the smell of death. And it's these little gremlin motherfuckers. Okay? It's not you. Period. Queen of torts. It's not you. It's not you. You guys are cutting this out, death. Like, you are putting an end to this. Nasty motherfuckers. The moon, I'm really getting, like, these things are like gremlins, bro. Like, like fucking you up in your sleep. This next spiritual event for you is um, you basically telling demons that they ain't shit. You know what I love? I love that, that spirit loves you so much that Normally my phone would have cut off about 10 minutes ago because I only have like, I don't know why, but it only lets me record for 30 minutes and then it cuts out and then starts a new video. But it let me go all the way to 43 minutes. That's abnormal. It normally cuts off. But again, the message is so beautiful from spirit. They didn't want me to be interrupted. So look, I'm telling you, there's, there's something about how much you are loved your higher self loves you so much it's like it's about to wake you up in these dreams and be like hello hello yeah yeah tell them to go to hell where they belong okay bye have a good one guys bye pile three i mean bye pile two pile three Father, God, Mother, Goddess. That's what I just heard. Father, God, Mother, Goddess. Please protect me as I read for channel. Che uh, whoa. Whoa. Pile three. Chi, your energy, your energy. You could be dancing, doing a lot of physical movement. I heard you're, you're not only burning off calories, but you're bringing in a lot of manifestations when you do that. You're moving physically. Some of you could actually be moving. And a, a spiritual event that's taking place for you is like physical physical location change I'm getting for pile three. Um, you know, because it's already happening in the 41st. You know, whatever happens up there first, the 3D reality, the reflection that you see, it's changing now because it's already been changing up there for a minute. So pile through the next spiritual event you have coming in is, well, a shift physically. Ow. Um, yeah, a shift physically is what I'm getting. So you could have just cut your hair or something or dyed your hair. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Look at you. Look at you, queen. Felt the nice. I heard the name Timothy. What? Okay. Pile three, a next spiritual event for pile three, the selenite crystal. I fucking love this crystal so much. It's my favorite. I love selenite. I sleep with like about 75,000 pounds of selenite in my bed. I love it. Pew! It sends you right to heaven, honey. 
selenite is like the highest vibrational crystal, I think, or something like that. I don't know. It's like one of the cool ones that you don't even need to charge or something. It's, I don't know, it's great. I have to pee. Let's make this quick. Pile three, extremes. Speaking of, you see this guy in his bed? And I was like, pew! Look how he's shot straight up. It's like there's something about a message someone's getting about you, pile three. I'm hearing my ears perked up. Okay, all right, pile three. Uh, what I am getting for you is that this is gonna be, this is gonna be long-winded, this one. There's a couple messages. One, someone is getting a message about you. Someone is getting some sort of word about you. And I'm hearing I'm worried about you. Focus. Gratitude. Okay, let's get a tarot card here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm worried about you. Yes, I see this with the hand. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, talk to me, are you okay? I heard, yeah, why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be? I don't know, there's something about like, you, you, yeah, of course, I, I'm, I'm fine, why? <laughs> the star, seven of wands. I think you're drawing boundaries with somebody right now and that person is worried shitless that they can't come back in your life. But yeah, I'm hearing they are, they're gonna come back in. Spirit has this all planned out for pile three. Someone's coming back into your life very soon, okay? There could be an age difference here, an age gap. Butterflies could be important, or the color blue. You could have blue eyeliner, or blue eyelid, eyelids. <laughs> blue and red, I'm getting blue and red. Ace of swords. Yeah, they're coming back. They're coming back, okay? Okay, all right. So a spiritual event that's happening is somebody for pile three is getting word about you that you're doing way better without them. And it's like, Bing! I need to get my shit right. <laughs> Uh-oh, yeah, I'm hearing. Who can it be now? So they spy on you. This person watches you. Okay, they're watching your healing right now, okay? They're watching you, they're spying. I think maybe on social media, maybe energetic spying. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. You guys could be different ethnicities or maybe same sex or something. I'm getting an age difference here, like an age gap. Like The star, oh my God. They are watching you heal so fucking much and so quickly. It's like, God, this person like, I need to, I need to go. This is a star seed that I'm talking about. And they are fully aware that you're a star seed, but they as a star seed are like, okay, time to go. The world needs us. <laughs> I heard your ancestors as well. Another message. Your ancestors are guiding this person to you, by the way. Your ancestors, your ancestors love this person for you. Love it. Six of Pentacles. Judgment. Look, this is this is your guides. They're like, they're like, hello, hello. It is time to give to Pile Three because Pile Three needs you. Fucking own it. Could be dealing with a Libra or um, an Aquarius. I heard a Taurus, and I heard the name Melanie. Page of Wands. This person could be a singer. A singer. I'm hearing Melody now. Melody, Melanie. King of Pentacles. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Um, your spirit team is making this person come in because they know that you need help right now and you're manifesting help. Some of you could even be manifesting wealth and it's gonna come through this person. Okay. This person's like maybe maybe rich, I don't know. Um, tell me what they're seeing in this book, please. Nine of Cups. That you're happier without them, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, the higher fun that they have to come. Look, 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 that guys, guys, this person is gonna give to you financially because they have to. Um, this, <laughs> you're manifesting wealth, but I don't know if you know that the reason you're gonna be wealthy soon is because of someone handing you money. That's what I'm getting. This is like giving me rich daddy vibes. I love it. Don't be afraid of that. Look, at the end of the day, you're a powerful manifester. You're just manifesting somebody really, <laughs> really fucking powerful and rich, okay? That is how some people make money. Your partner, is fully loaded. Others don't make money that way. That's cool, but that's still a manifestation, right? That's still a gift. <laughs> that's still that's still how the divine is blessing you through this person. So this person is, oh, you know, I just heard checking my finances. They're checking their finances to see if they can help you. 
to focus on gratitude. Wow, to focus on giving back, to focus on giving back. That's what it is, guys. They're focusing on giving back six of pence. Yes, okay, okay, I get it. Oh, damn, this is some sexy beast with some money, honey. Let's go, let's glow, let's, oh, let's go and let's glow. Ooh, honey, honey, ooh, this fudge. Guys, it's so crazy. Look, you're about to get money, about to get paid, and somebody really wants, they, um, okay, I'm being told that the next spiritual event happening for you is someone realizing they need to give to you energetically, and in this instance, money is energy, guys, so money. They're gonna be giving you financially, okay? Something that is owed to you. The reason it's owed to you it's because karmically speaking, this person sat on the sidelines and didn't do shit. And now technically they owe you a ton of back karma. They owe you a ton of energy. And in this instance, it's money. Um, Cause I am hearing something about, wait, why is this happening though? Three of wands. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing the devil. I'm hearing, okay, the angel and the devil on their shoulder. <gasps> 5115, look, this is the number 15, the devil, right? Oh, shit. Guys, 5115 on the clock, I'm getting like, this person was once mirroring the devil energies, hoarding all of it. Any resources they had that they were getting from, well, the divine. Dude, I just heard they're taking it from the divine. They were taking it from the divine. Look at this. Judgment, the star, the temperance, and the hierophant. They were taking from the divine and not giving back to any divine people, any divine beings. They're, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look how many people are on their ass, bro. Stop. Oh my God. Earth angel, earth angel, earth angel, earth angel. Holy mother of God. You know what? Was this the one I said, Father, God, Mother, Goddess? I don't know. I can't remember. But listen. Eight of swords. All oh, their fun. Oh, my God. Next spiritual event for you is literally getting money. But you're getting money because, well, spiritually, you're owed it. You're owed it by everyone and everything. You are a goddess. You're owed it by the entire universe. But... But whoever this person is, they are tuned in with the universe and they have been given a hell of a lot. Like whoever this is, they were given a plenty. Plenty, plenty, like, like, like maybe millions, shit, I don't know. I don't know their life. All I know is they're looking at their finances now and they're sweating over it because I don't know if they're just losing money like a sieve, I don't know. This person owes you a lot. Ooh. I'm hearing they have to come, look at this, the sun. They have to come in. There's some sort of illumination they're getting about their money right now and it's like, wow, my money isn't gonna grow unless I give. I have to give now in order to get. Right, exactly, exactly. Because spirit is harping on their ass, like, correct. Because you took from the divine, you took from divine forces, you used your light within, which is great. You know, look, the sun, that, that, that's, that's your light, your divinity, your prerogative. But you will be giving that shit back to the collective. You will be giving that back to whoever pile three is. You will be giving. Oh, yeah, 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 seven of pounds. You will be investing. Tell me I'm wrong. Like, 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 I feel like this person, like your guides, your guides, your ancestors and their ancestors, like tell, tell us we're wrong. I dare you. Tell us, tell us we're wrong. You owe so much karmically to pile three. Tell us, tell us we're wrong. Dare you. T tell me, tell me I'm wrong. This person can't sleep at night, guys. I'm so good at my job, I scare myself. No, 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 like I terrify myself sometimes. Guys, look, I'm so fucking good. The King of Pentacles is realizing they can't say the King of Pentacles without giving. They just learned something about energy exchange. They literally learned the law of energy exchange. Mm-hmm. It's like, this is their books. This is their like, people owe you, honey, and it's not even just one person. I'm hearing that, I'm hearing it's multiple. Five of cups, page of, 
I mean, five of one. Okay, look, this is competition for me. There's multiple people that want to offer you something. Mr. Moneybags is going down with the ship. Justice in reverse. 5505 on the fucking clock. Look at this. It's magic. They are about to lose everything because karmically speaking, if they don't give to you the divine, excuse me, the divine is taking it all from them. There it is. That was confirmation. When I burp, it's always a yes. Look, we love fortune in reverse, bitch. I'm so good. I'm done. I'm done with this reading. They're going to lose their fortune if they don't give it to you. Not all of it. They don't have to give all of it. Page of Pentacles. They don't have to give all of it. They just have to start making investments into you, into the divine. People have, the whole world has got to start giving to the empresses. Period. Evade karma if you want. That's, that's how you do it. You give energetically. You give kind compliments. You give positive thoughts. You give prayers. Sometimes you give money. Donations. 5555. Holy shit balls. 5505 and 5555, it could be very important. This change that is happening in this person, it's very important. It's needed and they need to give you rest while they don't have any. Look at this, nine of swords and the ace of cups. This person is realizing like their cup will, will cease to overflow if they don't start giving to you. So the next spiritual event for pile three is <laughs> magic money from, from magic money man. I heard Mike, Magic Mike, maybe? Maybe this person's name is Mike, I don't know. Or Tom, I heard Tom. Hmm. I'm hearing Claire, Claire. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands. Another gift coming in, another uh, psychic event happening for you soon is your Claire's, your Claire audience, your clairvoyancy. Some of you might actually be dabbling in witchcraft. This is the witch here with the, with the Ace of Wands is giving ma magic wand here. Something about, oh, the Empress Bench, yes. They have to give to the feminine. They ha the whole world has to. The whole fucking world has to. Look, look, the tower, the Wheel of Fortune. People about to go broke, hunty, because they took from God and they're not giving back. Tell me I'm lying. Tell, tell me I'm lying. The Empress, Queen of Swords. Bitch, tell me I'm lying. Okay, look. This Empress, I heard, is behind a paywall. <laughs> you can have the Empress, but she's sitting behind a paywall. Look at that. Because cause whoever, like a lot of people, guys, a lot of people took from the divine. Took from the divine. Gave to the devil energy so fucking much. Like, cool, go get your karma. Go get your karma then. You want to avoid and evade karma? Do so. Start showing the Empress a little bit of love, the divine feminines in all of us. Start actually giving and contributing to the femininity. Projects, businesses, uh, new corporations, uh, up and coming artists, celebrities, like start giving to the people that, that are truly divine. That's how this person is gonna avoid karmic time, I heard. Devil time. You're on angel time. This person's about to be on devil time. They either get it through the thick skull or they're done. They're done. We're done with them. I just heard Spear say, we're done with them. They're going to be they're gonna be stuck on devil time if they don't come in with an offer. Look, Page of Pentacles. Look, they don't have to give you their entire empire. They have to start making contributions, though. And for Pile 3, I feel like financially, you guys have not been doing okay. It's kind of because this person, if some of you think this is your divine counterpart, they were taking all of it. On the split again. Can you make it up? No, you can't. Page of Pentacles, guys. I'm going to leave it there. If you want to personal with me, all the information is in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.